A witness thumped on the desk in front of him as he tried to describe the noise coming from the boot of his car where kidnapped woman Jindara Prutseri Porn was being held. Sovanara Thing was giving evidence by closed circuit television in the High Court in Auckland. Ms. Prutsuri Porn died from a serious head injury after falling from the boot of a moving car in the South Auckland suburb of Papatoetoe in March last year. Six men are on trial for charges including kidnapping and the manslaughter of the 50-year-old. Our Auckland court reporter Edward Gay has been covering the trial. Hi, Eddie. Uh, Mr. Ings Day started with a long drive, the court heard. That's right. He, he told the court that he agreed to drive a man that he knew as Soda and Soda's friend Jack into town. And he's confirmed Soda is actually Soda at Sale. And he's admitted already charges of kidnapping yep. and manslaughter on the morning before the trial. Jack's been identified as Sing Lek Liu, and that's the man the Crown says um, actually was behind the kidnapping. He decided this kidnapping um, should take place, and he employed the ghost unit. After stopping to get a flat tyre fix, bit of petrol, they headed out uh, west um, to a motel um, that's later been established to be in Parakai. Uh, and he said that Jack met a man in the motel unit. They then drove back into Auckland, but this time they headed to Mangari. Uh, he he um, didn't know what was going on, did he? At least that's what he's saying in court. Yeah, that's right. He said that Jack then asked him if he wanted to know what they were up to, and he said, it was, it's none of my business, mate. I, I don't want to know. But he said that once they got to this house in Mangari, another guy closed the curtains. He thought something to do with drugs was about to take place. Uh, but they also got back in the car and they drove around the block to make sure there were no police in the area. But then back at the house, he was introduced to a man that he described as um, the, the most ugly man he had seen. Uh, and it was at that point that Jack told him that they needed to put a Thai woman in the boot of his car. Uh, he said that he told Jack uh, that he was a family man, he had kids. He even plead, pleaded um, for, to, to lose his life. He, he didn't want to have any part in this. He said he was shocked and terrified. But Mr Jack said he had no choice, right? At least that's what's being alleged, is it? Uh, again, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's Mr Ng's evidence. He told the court that he was worried about the woman screaming. Jack, in answer to this, said that the woman was tied up. She couldn't make any noise. He also offered Ng uh, some methamphetamine. Ng said he declined, and he, he actually th said he threw his, his keys on the ground. He said he didn't want to drive the car with the woman in the boot. Uh, eventually, he said, Miss Prut City Porn was put in the boot of his car and his car was actually driven by another man to another house. And after some hours at this house, sitting around drinking beers in the garage, he heard this banging noise coming from the boot. He, uh, he said he told his mate Soda, get rid you know, take the car, get it out of here. And uh, so Soda did take off. He, he said Soda looked uh, pretty scared. Um, and uh, earlier, actually, uh, so the, and this is at the point where the Crown says Miss Prut City Porn um, was able to break out of the car once, once the car took off. Now, earlier he confirmed that he worked as a butcher and he kept knives and a sharpening steel in the boot of his car, and it's these implements that the Crown says were with Miss Prut City Porn when she came out of the boot. Uh, she fell from the moving car, and, and days later she died in hospital. The trial is continuing. Edward Gale, court reporter, thanks so much, Eddie. Appreciate it.